Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 14.4.2. Yes. So yesterday night, Apple released iOS 14.4.2 to all of its supported devices, all the devices that are running on iOS 14. So this is an iPhone 10R and I have received iOS 14.4.2 in this device. So I'm going to talk about, about the you know details of the update and few of the changes and whether you should update your device to iOS 14.4.2 if you are on iOS 14.4.1 and why this update is very much important for us. And also I had taken a screenshot shot before as you can see for my iPhone 10R it came around 201.3 MB and also as you can see this is the some of the details of the previous update so I'm going to show you all of that along with the changes and the battery life and the performance also I'm going to discuss about that so stay tuned till the end of the video but before that if you're new here it's a humble request to all of you watching this video do subscribe to the channel because it means a lot and also it motivates me a lot to make more of this kind of videos for you guys and with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings let me go to the general and about as you can see it says ios 14.4.2 and the build number is 18d70 so this update does not contain any new modem firmware so as you can see the modem firmware version is actually the same it is 3.02.02 and uh, now let me compare to my screenshots that i had taken before so as you can see it came around 201 mb on my iphone 10r so if you are having iphone 11 or probably an ios 14 supported device it should vary depending on the device but it should come around 200 MB or so. So as you can see, this is the update details that I had taken screenshot of. And also, as you can see, before the update, as you can see, the build number was 18D61 and the available space was 30.18 GB. And after the update, as you can see, the build number is 18D70 and the available space has little bit decreased, but not to worry too much. It is 29.91 GB. Now, what exactly is this update? As you can see, if you're not having and receiving this update, now I would like you to go to the software update and again go to this about this device and if you are not receiving this update then go to this automatic updates and you know make sure this download iOS update is on and still if you're not receiving the update I would suggest you to turn this off and then again check the iOS update and then turn this on in that way you would be able to see the update if your device supports it now let's talk about what are the new changes so basically what it means the iOS 14.5 is along the way whenever you are seeing this kind of changes iOS 14.4.1 or iOS 14.4.2 these are actually the security fixes that Apple is pushing out so if I take a look at the details so it clearly says that this update provides important security updates and is recommended for all the users so we had seen before that iOS 14.4.1 contains some of the security regarding the WebKit which is the underlying framework for our Safari. Now iOS 14.4.2 Apple has tried to fix all this WebKit issues again with the Safari. So basically it's a bug fix for all the devices and not only to its newer devices Apple has also released iOS 12.5.1 for its older devices like iPhone 5s, iPhone 6 and iPhone 6s. So Apple had done that before. So it's pretty much evident that Apple wanted to release this across the board and to its all the devices which are running iOS and that's why it is very much important. So a lot of people tell me that whether it's in security or update and if it's in security update whether I need to upgrade to iOS to the latest version or not. So I tell all the people that if it's a security update then definitely definitely it's related to your personal security your personal phone security so definitely do update to the latest iOS obviously now let's talk about the battery life now battery life and performance is something that I would usually take four to five days before I comment on it but then again I would like to show you the battery health so as you can see it's still on the peak performance capability and also as you can see the maximum capacity is at 90% so I would come back with a you know follow-up review as I do with my every iOS video so make sure you subscribe to the channel and check back the channel after a few days you would be able to find out the follow-up review and where I would talk about the battery life and how the battery is performing in detail 
now performance is something it is very much smooth as the performance was there in ios 14.4.1 so there is no lag whatsoever and the app opening and the closing of the app is very much smooth so earlier there was this animation lag that we used to see on ios 14.3 ios 14.4 so those has been fixed with all the security updates and along with that in the last video i talked about there was some network issues but still those network issues has been you know you know has been persistent because there is no modem firmware update as of now but the performance as of now seems to be okay now i also have geekbench 5 over here so as you can see let's let me just focus my camera so as you can see on 27th of march that is as of recording this video i have run this you know benchmark and as you can see and the single core score is 1115 and the multi score score is 1878 now if i compare that with the performance when this device was on ios 14.4.1 as you can see the single score performance is little bit better and in terms of multi core performance as you can see it has dropped a little bit because the multi core performance was 1992 but right now it has been dropped to 1878 take it with a pinch of salt because you know ios updates is something that once you pretty much install it then it basically takes some time in order to you know uh, get stable with the device along with the performance and the battery life so let it be performance let it be battery life so definitely definitely i would have to wait for you know 5 to 7 days to before comment on anything so as of at, at this point of time as you can see the performance is pretty much smooth and the battery life has been okay for me with ios 14.4.1 so i'm expecting that with ios 14.4.2 the battery life will be good as well so i know that lot of you guys also have commented about the heating issue on their different iphones so this is iphone 10r let me tell you that this heating issue probably that you are facing this also could be because of the update and also there's a greater possibility that you are facing this heating issue because of the sudden weather change so this could be one of the reason that you are facing this heating issue so we still you know get to see that ios 14.5 update so now let's talk about when we can expect the ios 14.5 update so as you can see as of recording this video today is 27th and we might see the ios 14.5 public rollout in the first week of april because as if we, if we talk about the beta cycles ios 14.5 beta 5 is already released and has been released to the public and to the developers so they are just continuously giving feedback so at this point of time it is very much very confusing to predict anything about the apple update cycle because apple has never done this before so we are seeing this ios 14.4.1 ios 14.4.2 and as you can see and at the last week of march we are getting to see this ios 14.4.2 so definitely definitely do update your device to ios 14.4.2 I hope you like this small video and if you do like this small video then definitely do give this video a thumbs up and also if you're new here then I would like to have you subscribe to the channel and with that being said I will see you on my next video bye